Good afternoon and welcome once again to my daily broadcast. Today's episode is number 476 and the topic today is ladies, flirting is much easier than you think. Let me say that again. Flirting is much easier than you think. And I'm going to break some things down and give you some insights for men and for women. But before I get to that, let me introduce myself as so you know where I'm coming from and a bit more about the framework we're talking about here. So first of all, hi, my name is Barry Selby. Welcome to my broadcast again. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and I help strong, successful women create and find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day for the last year and several months, actually more than that, initially it was the December 2016 when I started, so it was weekly for a while, but now it's been in every day for over a year and a half. I do these talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And today's topic is number 476 in an ongoing series, a long series, but now it's 476, heading for 500 now. And the topic today is ladies, flirting is much easier than you think. I'm also going to give you some keys on the inverse of that, and also men, how you can respond to this. This is a breakdown of, uh, well, I guess in a way it's kind of a breakdown of courtship. This should be interesting. (laughs) Because really, I don't have a plan of where this is going to go. I'm just going to speak from the hip as it works. That's where I normally do these talks. And by the way, if you haven't seen my talks before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, unless something changes and let you know that ahead of time. And the topics I uh, cover are quite a range. And so today's is one in the right in the heart of relationship and romance and masculine and feminine behavior. But some of my topics vary um, of late because I'm getting more into the self-love, self-support, self-guidance area. But this one's back in the heart and the, and the, and the middle of the love and relationships conversation. So... And this is primarily for straight couples, for those of you watching who may be straight or gay, because I'm talking about how women and men interact. Um, it probably does work in the gay area, but I can't promise that because, again, this, that's not my experience to be in that because I'm straight. So let's be clear about that. <laughs> like I need to emphasize it. And if you haven't seen my broadcast before, by the way, I do put these onto YouTube and onto my podcast afterwards. I'll let you know about those at the end. And I'm probably going to promote some things during the broadcast. So I'll put the links for those at the end as well. All right, that's enough of logistics. Let's get into the conversation, shall we? This talk, by the way, was inspired, this part of the talk, by a friend's post this morning how she said she sucks at flirting. And this woman, and I'll, I won't mention her by name, but I'll, I'll send the link to her so she can watch it later, is a tall, elegant, beautiful African-American woman who's got a voice like, and she sings like you wouldn't believe. I mean, she's an amazing singer, and she's beautiful, tall, I say tall, elegant, carries such a grace and poise with her and she posts publicly that she sucks at flirting so this is not about how you look let's be clear about that first of all secondly i'm amazed that she doesn't know doesn't know basically her presence is enough and i'm getting okay now i'm getting ahead of myself so getting into this properly that's the preamble i'm giving all the structure of my talk but anyway getting right into the heart of this flirting in its purest most essential um, presence, substance, is the heart of the invitation. I'll put it that way. In the structure of the masculine and feminine conversation I talk about, the masculine's role is pursuit, honoring, and the chase of the feminine. The feminine's role is attraction in simplistic form. So she gets to, she in the feminine, now again, I'm talking polarity, but I'm using she and he pronouns to make you understand, to give you the understanding. There are conversations, contexts where the masculine and feminine are reversed or um, flipped, where the man's more feminine and the woman's more masculine, that happens too. But in the true, truest alignment, generally speaking, men align to the masculine, women align to the feminine, just for context, the man's role is pursuit, the hunt, chasing, achieving. The feminine's role is attraction, awareness, protection, I'll get into that in a minute too, and reception. One thing very clear, one thing I want to point very well clear right up front, ladies, you have the right of refusal, absolutely, and men if you're watching this, know this, women have the right of refusal, it's not your job men to just steamroll them and take what you want, that's not respect, that's not romance, that's, to be blunt, that's rape, energetically speaking, and sometimes physically speaking too. So let's be clear about that. So ladies, the flirtatious piece. I have spoken a while ago now, a couple of times about the idea of the dropped handkerchief, which was the old um, paradigm 
the elegant way of receiving that was the key back in the olden days, you know, back in the, well, this is probably the 1890s, maybe around there, maybe even earlier. I know, in, I know in Europe it was something that happened for probably two or three hundred years from like the 1700s to the 1900s, where ladies in the court would drop their handkerchief in front of a gentleman showing their interest. That was their way of flirting back then. Because um, back then, you know, if you flashed an ankle, that was that was like heresy. That was that was so, you know, outside the realm. Even though women back in those days had it busty as they pushed up their breasts, their ankles were protected. Standards change over the over the generations, to be sure. So, ladies, really, what I'm talking to, speaking to is that modern version of dropping the handkerchief. And flirting is, I want to use flirting this way. For the lady, ladies, flirting is an invitation that is selective. This is the key. Invitation, sorry, flirting is not a um, floodlight, it's a spotlight. So think about it this way. When you find a man you're attracted to, your invitation, your look of interest, your flirting is really point-to-point -point contact. So if there's a group of men standing around, your flirting is with that particular man. I know this is what you hope to be anyway. It is not a broadcast to all the men going, yes, I'm interested in all of you, because ladies, I'm sure you're usually not, unless you're playing the field, which I doubt. So first of all, that flirtatiousness is like a spotlight, a laser beam versus a floodlight broadcast. Now, gentlemen, if you're really being honest with yourself, you know when she's flirting with you and when she's not. But most of the time, men look at a gorgeous woman and go, oh, of course, without any um, awareness, sensitivity, intuition, asking if it's appropriate to approach. Men. If you were willing to talk to a woman and you would actually ask her if it's okay to approach her, to invite her out, you actually invite versus push, you might get a lot more um, success in your communication and your flirting experience. Ladies, this is the thing that I think a lot of you forget or, or have not learned how to do or you've been trained incorrectly in a way in the sense that you were raised with certain standards where you didn't know that you have a stronger boundary than you do. Because ladies, you have the right of refusal. I'll make sure you get this point. You have the right of refusal. If a man doesn't honor that, he doesn't deserve you, first of all. And also, it's not about physical strength. There's something that, is a, maybe it's a secret, I don't know. One of my teachers talk, talked about this a long time ago. That ladies, you have an ability to cut the balls off a man just by the way you look at him. I'll let that one sit for a second. Ladies, you have the power. It's, imagine for yourselves, ladies, if you, this is how it's kind of the energetic speak, energetic place, is that you have a deep yearning, wanting, yearn, um, beseeching for the right man to find you. But any other man who tries to do that, you carry a massive sword that will cut his balls off. Now, ladies, if you carry the energy inside of you, that clear, like, laser focus of the one man that you really want, deserve, desire, and are want, yearning for, and this is a bit beyond flirting, this is more about deep calling to, to the masculine heart for your feminine heart as well. To know that you are being selective, which is key, and knowing that you have that power to cut a man off, cut his head off, cut his balls off, energetically speaking, and with just a look, this is the power you wield. This is the power you have in your flirting. Because flirting isn't a, again, as I mentioned earlier, flirting is a laser beam or a spotlight, not a flashlight, or not a, not a, a, a floodlight. And that's the mistaken approach that a lot of women, sorry, a lot of men have. And women sometimes have been trained to think that way too. So ladies, you have a skill and a gift of flirting, which is basically as simple as a look. It can be a touch. It can be a word. It can be a physiological, physi try the word again, physiological shift. If a man doesn't know how to respond to it, that's not your fault. Let me be clear about that. Because a lot of men, frankly, are not educated or tuned in or aware of what a flirt looks like. Again, they see an attractive woman, it's like dinner. You know, they pursue, they jump right in. And to be honest, I've done that myself. So I'm just being, <laughs> let me let be transparent. I've done that myself too. So this paradigm, this conversation about true flirting as a courtship role is absolutely about connection, respect, awareness, and in certain levels, a level of intimacy, because a flirt is not something that's overt, going smack, okay, I'm gonna chase after you, or let you chase after me. It's a subtle communication. And a lot of the communication comes from a more, almost an intuitive place, and a, an intimate place where you reach across energetically for the man that you like most, and he will feel it from you. And if you're really good at this, ladies, if you're really good at this, no other man will even know it happened. 
This is the power you wield. Because ladies, you have a surgical skill in this, this laser beam focus of flirting. But the thing about it is, and this is the piece I want to add to the back end, is flirting is an invitation. So ladies, when you invite a man to pursue, his job, his role, is to step up to meet you. Yes, yeah, step up to meet you. That means he treats you like a lady. He acts like a gentleman. He shows interest in you, and you basically enjoy that pursuit. Ladies, if you are pursuing your man, that's, not, that's no longer um, flirting. That's, for many men, to be honest, it's a dream come true. Um, oh, damn it. I said it out loud. Oh, boy. But the reality is, for most women, to know what you really want, first of all, is a key part of this. Because you don't want to flirt with all the men out there. That's not, that's not effective. It's a, um, you, want to, you want quality, not quantity. Let me be clear. And I'm sure you know that, too. So the idea of pursuing every man, or should say, well, that's the wrong approach anyway, because women who pursue all the men tend to get none of them, because most men are like, no, thank you. So ladies, your role is to be invitational, to be um, attracting men to you, who you are interested in, which means getting really clear. So that laser focus isn't just a straight laser beam. It's a clarity, vision, intention that you have of what you want. I have a program for that, so I'll, I'll put the link in at the end. Since, since, you, since, since I asked myself about that <laughs> you didn't ask me so this whole courtship conversation this, this flirting um, arena um, okay that was an idea I'll come back to that in a second is really something that's been lost the problem with flirting and courtship is, is smartphones because most smartphone users are swiping, texting tapping screen, be clear and um, sorting through lots and lots of choices. None of that's flirting and none of that's courtship and that's one of the downsides of what's happened in the last 10, 11 years since the iPhone came out. The true elegance of courtship and flirting is, a, is an in-person experience, IRL in real life. I highly recommend you start looking at that and playing with that. There are tons of videos out there and some of them suck because they're all about um, getting the person. There's a lot of videos out there for men about how to capture a woman. It's like, it's not about that. True romance, true elegance in dating and flirting comes from a respect of individuals, a understanding, an un, sorry, an understanding of the polarity where the man lead, is leading in, the woman is, being, is receiving that. And it's also about the recognition that you both, as you're not lead, lean in, that you both are interested in each other. Because a flirt is not a guarantee gentlemen. If a lady flirts with you, she's showing interest. It doesn't mean that she's already ready to marry you or go to bed with you. Let me be clear about that. It's about she's interested. So your role, men, if you're interested in her, is to prove that she's worth, she made the right choice. Mm -hmm. Prove she made the right choice. That's your work. So this, this flirting piece is part of a much bigger picture, which is courtship. Yes, that word we haven't used for 20 years. It's also about true romance, where it's about the love and the dance of romance, almost like a like like an Argentine tango. In fact, it's that role of men leading women, the playfulness, the joyfulness, the enjoyment, that connection. I hope this makes sense to you. So, if my friend who I'm this video inspired, that inspired this video, this talk, you're not bad at flirting. You may be bad at your choices. And if you want to know about, about the more about that and any other ladies watching this, I'm going to put a, I'm going to tell you what it is now and put the link in the back end. Um, my Facebook lives usually have in them a call to action because if you, it's great to have a teaching, but I also make sure you have something you can get value from. So, all four? Okay, I guess I'm doing all four. First of all, ladies, if you are really clear that you, don't, you want to get clear about what you want, you don't know what it is, you want a vision and intention of what you want, I invite you to go look at my Attract the Man You Want program because that's what it does. It's called Attract the Man You Want for a reason. Although, truthfully, it does more inner work than outer work. Um, in fact, if you're interested in that program, go check it out, which is at barryselby.com. That's my website, by the way. barryselby.com forward slash ATM, attract the man. Take a look at it. If it interests you, don't purchase it right away. Send me a message. Yes, I'm, I've got a special, I'm changing things around. But the page stays the same, but I'm going to change some of the stuff that's on there. So before you sign up, before you invest, send me an email, send me a message first or message me over social media or send me an email, which is barry at barryselby.com, just so you know what that is. Secondly, um, if you're someone who wants some help in clarity about relationships, if you're not sure how to do any of this work and you want to get some guidance, 
I invite you to have a conversation with me. I offer a daily recommendation to sign up for a chat, which is barryselby.com forward slash chat. And you can get on my calendar, sign up for the invitation, you fill out the form, and we can talk. Thirdly, as a reminder, as I've been talking about this for a while now, self-love is key for all of this. Start from self-love, you become much more um, self-centered, self-supportive, whole inside. So when you go out looking, flirting, chasing, pursuing, any of that stuff, you're not attached to the result as much as you're attached to yourself. And that is my self-love practice I offer on my website again, barrysober.com forward slash self-love. And the last thing of those four, boy, it's simply on, these, on the list today, is um, a webinar I'm offering next Thursday, a week today, I'm offering a webinar. Um, I'm calling it right now, the title has shifted. It's, it's the golden key to your relationship. Um, that's the sh- new short term. It keeps, change, change, keeps evolving, just to be sure. But for that link, and you read more about it, if you go, there's a free webinar next Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific time, and it'll be recorded. Um, but if you're live, you get to interact. And that is at barryselby.com forward slash LBH, which is Love Boundaries Healing Webinar on, sorry, webinar, not webinar, web, webinar, <laughs> LBH webinar. That's the link, uh, barryselby.com forward slash webinar. The links will be in the comments after this, whether you're watching this on Facebook or on YouTube. And speaking of which, I do put my broadcasts onto my business page on Facebook to keep them in archive, which is barryselby.author. I invite you to follow my page there. Also, I put them into my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. And you can subscribe to my channel and listen to those, watch those there. And if you want to listen to my broadcast, I put them onto my podcast, which is also Messages from the Masculine, and you can subscribe and download them there. I think that's given you enough links to play with. I hope this has made sense to you. If you have any questions about this broadcast, please put in the link in the comments below, and I'll respond after I sign off. I appreciate you being with me as always, and I hope this has been of value to you. Um, I'm back in tomorrow. That'll be Friday, so it'll be 5 p.m. Pacific time. And with that, I wish you a pleasant evening and invite you to take care of yourself. As always, my love to you. And uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.